Hello and welcome to Only Connect, the show that's always extremely difficult. In fact, it might storm out in a huff at any moment. But let's hope it doesn't, because I'm joined by two new teams who've been through a rigorous selection process to get here. We present them with a long, muddy, gruelling assault course, and the ones who ignore it and go back inside with a book have passed. Many teams don't pass, of course. They're outside the studio now, frantically pulling at a door marked push. But let's meet the teams who are trying to avoid the door marked exit. On my right, Joe Durrant, a graduate of Nottingham Medical School who enjoys quilting and once pulled a pint for Terry Waite. Chris David, an amateur tennis player with an interest in typography and European board games. And their captain, Mike Crow, a Barnsley FC supporter who once won a photography competition for his picture of a rotting apple. United by their love of the common cold, they are the general practitioners. Well, that's a relief to know that we've got doctors in the house. What are your team's ailments? Well, we all have uh, high blood pressure and sweaty palms at the moment, but uh, we hope it'll pass in the next half hour. Excellent. Do you have weak points, do you think, in your general knowledge? Struggling on the arts and literature side of things, I think, and maybe a bit of ancient history. A okay. Bit iffy. Well, that's some categories that are almost guaranteed to Absolutely. come up. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be facing tonight on my left, Jim Taylor, a history graduate who now works as a solutions engineer for a logistics company and has played a pantomime dame on seven occasions. Craig Armand, a law graduate with a passion for crime fiction who used to work as a caterer in a youth hostel. And their captain, Mike Ambury, a civil servant with a degree in medieval and renaissance studies who's learning to play the hurdy-gurdy. United by a passion for exploring the Lake District, they are the Fell Walkers. Those are some interesting talents. How do you think they'll help your team on Only Connect? Well, I think as long as all of the questions are about obscure ancient history or um, pantomime, we should be okay. So your team does like ancient history. What are the weak points you want to avoid? There are very many, I think. Probably music, uh, mainly, or... Uh, I, th I think we've got most things covered there. Music is something that is guaranteed to come up. <laughs> Now, earlier on, I mentioned the exit door. It was a trick. There is no exit door. Under our new system, teams have to lose two games to go home. So tonight's losers could still go on to win and then lose. While the winners could go on to win or to lose and then win. Or win and then win, of course. Or lose and then lose. Got it? Me neither. Now, GPs, you won the toss. You'll be going first. In round one, I just want to know what is the connection between four apparently random clues. What are the clues going to be? Well, it's your choice which hieroglyph appeals. Uh, twisted flax, please. Kicking off with the twisted flax. Interesting choice. What's the connection between these four clues? Here's the first. Body. Next, please. Yeah. Mm. They've got power, so they rot, they sort of rot in a cave. That could be it. They rot, they, 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 they cave, they mature in a cave. Yeah. yeah. So Go for it on next. Okay. Next, please. Yeah, yeah found in a cave. Just found in caves. Yeah. Go for yeah. it. Yeah. Caves. You could have gambled after two clues. They are found in caves. Last one would have been a troglodyte. Yes, what's Injun Joe's body? It was discovered there. In a cave, yes. he died. <laughs> in a book, do you know which book? Uh, oh, Huckleberry Finn, isn't it? Close, as The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. Ah, ah yes. yes. Yeah. And what about the rock for? I mean, do you, as doctors, recommend generally eating from things that are found in caves? Mm, at least three times a day, I think, yes. <laughs> at least three times a day, yes. That French cheese is aged there, aged mm. in limestone caves. Delicious. So well done, coming in after three clues, you get two points. Over to you, fell walkers, to pick a question. Uh, two reads, please. Two reads. The music question. Well, you said you were hoping music would come up, and almost immediately, your dreams have come true. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. A friend in need, a friend indeed. A friend who teases better. Um, we'll see you both. Uh, <laughs> Don't know this one. Body related, isn't it? I don't know. Do you want us to do a, try the next one? Next, please. What a shady pile. Purple hound. What a shady pile. Okay. The first one? Uh, yeah, go for the fourth one. I'm not right, next, please. Yeah. It's going down. Three seconds. Oh. They all have Latin names. Wow, I thought you were miles away, but I'll accept that answer. They're band names derived from Latin. Not perfect Latin, placebo we heard first. Ultravox was the next one. 
it, it would be two words if it was in Latin. Do you want to give me some translations of the band names? Status quo is the sort of maintaining how things are now. Literally, the state in which yeah. is the translation. I don't know the others. Procol harum. They spell it a bit wrong. They've got to know where a U should be, but procol harum would be the Latin for beyond these things. Ultravox with a lot of voice, with the most possible voice. Placebo. Doctors, you must know what placebo means. Yeah, it's a sort of um, fake pill that um, convinces people it's... It, you, know, you treat it with a fake pill, essentially. That's right. From the Latin, I will please a placebo, something pleasing. How much of the time do you give patients little green Smarties in a tube? That would be telling. <laughs> yeah, that would be telling, yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Your turn to choose a question, of course. GPs, which hieroglyph do you fancy now? Uh, horned Viper, please. The Horned Viper. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Speech boy, Is it? Okay. Next one, please. Can you think impacts the whole that cell somewhere? That's that's to do with with them. Um, your next, you uh, Next, please. For the old songs, the old football, songs. Songs, football songs place there. That. Oh, we want everything for them. Oh, uh, next, please. Song stank sung by football supporters, isn't it? I have to say that, right? Yeah, yeah. Song sung by football fans. Not the answer, I'm afraid. I can tell from your gloomy face you don't think it is. So there's a possible bonus chance for the fell walkers. Are they football fanzines? That is what they are, fanzines. Heroes and villains, Aston Villa, that's a pun in the name there. King of the Kipax, what's that? Man City. That's right, they're all stand the Kipax stand. Only one F in Fulham, that's obviously at Fulham. United we stand. Man United. Manchester United. Very well done for the bonus point. Football fanzines. And it's now your turn to pick a question. Water, please. Water. What's the connection? Here's the first clue. Oh, no idea. Next, please. Encourage. Is something to do with the letters? Um, maybe. I'm not seeing nothing. F is four. Eight. That's it. So, F-E-D. Encourage. B-M-C. So, so you to click are the so Next, please. Next, please. Two seconds. What's your answer? Uh, they're all words for trying hard. Oh, no, they're not. I mean, the, the first clue isn't, I would say. So I'm going to show the fourth clue to the GPs. Chance of a bonus point. Me. It's all the, the, like you've got the M and e You need to give me an answer. Yep. So um, they are, the longer words, there's a shorter word with the same meaning inside them, using the, the, num the letters of those numbers. If you see what I mean? I see exactly what you mean, because I know this is our question editor at his evil best. Mm -hmm. I thought you had it. The numbers indicate particular letters, so the fourth, eighth and ninth letters of surfeited would spell fed. Fifth, sixth, eighth and ninth in encourage would be urge. Tries in strives and me in myself. Synonyms for those words are hidden within That's using violent. that code. Very well unpicked. So you get the bonus point and the chance to choose a question. Lion, please. Lion. OK, what is the connection? Here's the first clue. No, next, please. Isaac. Next, please. Next, please. Nothing in the names, is there? Let's go last. Are they there? It could be like fake pseudonyms, can't they? Are they things? Fake names, but. Next, please. They're all women. They're all women who are in the men's name. Yeah. Yeah, let's go for that. Yes. Uh, women who've written under men's names. That's what it is. They're male pen names for female writers. Can you give me any of the real names? Marianne Evans, is it George Eliot? That's George Eliot. Don't know any of those, actually. Ellis Bell was... No, it's Bronte. Ellis Peters wouldn't be Bronte, would it? No. Yeah, no, that's the, the yeah. can't fail stories. Uh, no, Edith no, no, no. Pargeter was her name. Right. Isaac Dinnison, Karen Blixen, or Karen von Blixen, the Danish writer, and James Tiptree Jr. was the name used by Alice Sheldon the American sci-fi writer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you found the connection, well done. Back to the Fellwalkers for the last question, the Eye of Horus. 
I have a feeling these are going to be picture clues because we haven't seen them, but I still want to know what is the connection. Here's the first clue. Now that's um, Baby Jane. I've seen it. This is okay. So, yeah, next, please. That's Alan that's Davis as, as uh, Jonathan Creek. Jonathan Creek. Okay. Go. Next, next please. The plugs on them, the little mouse with yeah. Kids. I think no, no. It's um, people that live in windmills. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah. 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 what? Yeah. People who live in windmills. The last clue would have been Windy Miller. They are all people who live in windmills. You recognised Baby Jake. That's a CBBC character. And uh, the second one, who's that? It's Jonathan Creek. Jonathan Creek lived in a windmill. The little mouse and Windy Miller. You didn't need. Very well done. Coming in early, you get two points. At the end of round one, then, the GPs have got four points. The Fell Walkers also have four points. <laughs> round two is about sequences. There are still four clues, but the teams may see only three of them at the most, because I want to know what comes fourth. GPs, you'll be going first again. Which hieroglyph would you like? We'd like water, please. Water, all right. What would be the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Yep, next, please. That's life, that's life. I'm a puppy, a pirate. I don't know. Do you want to get the next one? the next one. Oh, hold on! Oh, no. <laughs> and what's your answer? Pirate. I'm afraid that's not the answer, so I'm going to show the third in the sequence to the Fell Walkers. Prince. That's not it either. If you'd had more time, GPs, and not bust in early, do you think you'd have Is got it Poet? It? it is Poet. From, as I think you know the song, That's Life. I've mm. been a puppet, a pauper, a pirate, a poet, a... Pawn and a king. A pawn and a king. Oh, so close. Got myself confused. But I'm afraid <laughs> not. <laughs> Over to you, Fell Walkers, to pick a question. Twisted flax, please. The twisted flax. How twisted will it be? What's the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. You know, That's where uh, the warnings in. Some sort of promise. the yellow one. Yeah, they sort of um, go next and find out. I think it's the weather one. Oh, okay. Next, please. Yeah, so it's, um, oh, what is it? Amber, be prepared, oh. red, severe weather, or something like that. I don't, I can't remember the right words in it. Should we do severe conditions? Yes. It yeah, matches with the other yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's, let's try. Yeah, yeah. Not good. Red, severe conditions. I'm feeling kindly because this is a heat, so I'm going to let you have another go. Red severe weather? That's just not it. I'm going to have to show the third in the sequence to the GPs. Life, life threatening conditions. Danger to life. Red danger to life. That's not it either. You're making the same mistake. It is to do with weather conditions, but if you look, it's specifically advising people what to do, so it would be red no, take no, action. No, 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 no. It is a severe weather warning, but it's specifically to tell people you must do something here. So no points and no bonus points. But back to the GPs to pick a question. Uh, two reads, please. Two reads. What is the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next, please. Actually, I still can't see um, the obvious progression. The next one. Next, please. Green, 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 green. Does it seem to do with um, a sort of signal of some sorts, or uh, some kind of map? Is it the television thing, with the black and white things in the corner? It could be, yes. Yeah, it could be. I don't know. What's the sequence? Then? No idea. Um, green, green, green. Say green, green with a dog. Red ring, Say green. Say with a dog. Say green with a dog. Red ring. Well, now, I'm going to give you another go as well. Anything? No. no. All right, that's too long. Sorry, sorry, I sorry. think I was harsh on the others. I'm going to throw it over for a bonus point. Black and white sectors? Well, now that's not it. What are you thinking? A dartboard. It is a dartboard. We're coming inwards, and after the green ring, the outside of the bullseye, it's a, a red, red circle. circle. But not a ring, because of course it's not around anything. Yeah, yeah. It's a full yeah. central circle. We're looking at a dartboard. OK, fell walkers. Your turn to pick. A line, please. Line. What is the fourth in this sequence? You're going to be seeing picture clues. What would you expect to see in the fourth picture? Here's the first. 
spine. Um, but yeah, it's pretty really cool. Max, please. Peace on the pod. So, yeah, it's not really nothing for me. Max, please. Oh, telephone cord. Um, shell cord spine. seconds. Let's hear it. Uh, vertebra. A vertebra? And why would that be? Um, I'm thinking cord, spinal cord, spine, something to do with the back. Yes, if there's a phone there, you really want to consult the GPs after the show. <laughs> Not the answer, so I'm going to go over to the GP for the possible <laughs> bonus. A, a picture of a pad? A writing pad? Uh, yeah, no, it's a picture of a lily pad, but I'm going to give you the point. Why is that? I think they're all um, Apple iDevices in sort of uh, chronology, so iBook, iPod, iPhone, iPad. That is exactly what it is. Apple products going forwards, we've taken off the i and shown you the other thing. Mm -hmm. So well done, you've got the bonus point, and there's a question coming up specifically for you. Which is it? Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. What is the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Well, that is, that might be sizes of things. Next, please. Cities, Mexico City. First Mexico City. Let's go next. Let's go next. Let's go next. Uh, next, please. So, I think south. What is south? Should we go for Mexico City first? Mexico City. How much population is yeah. there? I think near the equator. Population. Yeah, yeah. Population size. This is on the equator. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. First Mexico City. That is not the answer, and I can see the sequence you're thinking of, but that's not a sequence. So, Fellwalkers, it's a bonus chance for you. First La Paz. It is first La Paz, and why is that? Uh, it's the highest elevation of capital cities. That's what it is. Capital cities arranged nastily by altitude. Very clever. Mm. And they are the capitals of which places? Ethiopia, mm -hmm. Colombia, mm -hmm. Ecuador, mm -hmm. and Bolivia. Very good. Good quizzing. I bet you can do flags as well. <laughs> I like your style. So, you get the bonus that time, and you get the final question the horned viper. What's the fourth in the sequence? Here's the first. Uh, next, please. Oh, so we're on orders and um, we're backwards. Or we're going forwards. So oh, the, 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 let's ask, let's ask for the next, next one. Next, please. And that's where I went back. Um, so what comes back from primates? Um, no, it's, it must be mammals. Do you want to climb it? We'll try that. You go for it, I'm, I'm lost. Mammal. Or mammalia. I was going to give it to you for mammal, but I'm glad to hear mammalia because that is the right technical term. Mammalia is the answer. Why? It's going back from species to order. And I don't know what the words are for it, further back. It's sort of. It, yeah. It's genus to class. Homo genus is the class. genus. Then we've got hominidae, the family. Primates is the order. Mammalia, the class of, of course... Humans. Uh, of humans. humans, exactly so. Very well done. At the end of round two, then, the GPs have got five points. The Fellwalkers are ahead with seven. It's the wall round. Time for our fiendish 16 jumbled clues that need separating into four connected groups of four. Fellwalkers, it's your turn to go first, so you may choose lion or water. Lion, please. OK, the lion wall. You've got two and a half minutes to solve it. Starting now. Ah, the thing to your sound. Taps, retreat, last, post, reveille. Oh, there's something else there then. Okay, um, I don't have anything else. Um, a halt and a warrant, a tray, that's a den. Yeah. Well, we've got something else in there as well. Four, I think, is the same as well. Okay. Got uh, go the last post again. Traffic system. Ferdy. There's Ferdy. Um, uh, Traffic lights. Okay. Lights. Clockwork. Oh. Okay. Um, egg. We, we need to be. We need to be. Oh, so you retreat. Re 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 okay. Last post. post. Retreat. Reveille. Um, Clock. 
sound system, maybe? Um, no, they're, they're kind of like trumpet blows, they're really like three kind of calls. Beats and sounds. Clock, yeah. Last panel. Uh, getting anything else? Kind of Miles and Ferdy, are they people's names? Um, Warren, I've got anything for Warren. Um, Boots and saddles, what could that be? Um, Oh, that could be that could be a call, couldn't it? So throw that in there. Okay. Yep. And taps. Okay. Three strikes and you're out now. Okay. Um, what have we got? Uh, Miles and Ferdy, Warren. Their names. There's no other names. Because um, the word that goes with that, like egg cup or, or egg timer. Okay. Timer maybe. Yeah. Maybe um, traffic timer. Put that go. Let's give that a go. Uh, no, we've got two more. Um, oh, they eight characters? miles. Thirty. They were they were in this life, weren't they? So oh, yeah. more. More. Okay, cool. And that's it. You've solved the wall. Very well done. Four immediate points for the groups. You're now looking for bonus points for the connections. What about the top group? They're where animals live. That's right. Animal homes. Do you know which animals? Uh, squirrels are dry. Mm -hmm. Otters are halt. Mm -hmm. um, is the form an ant? Actually, a hare. Mm -hmm. A hare. And then a dead one. Well, there's various. I mean, a fox, but there's various things. Okay, and the next group, the green group, what about that? Uh, military bugle calls or trumpet calls. That's exactly what they are bugle calls in the military. Miles, Warren, Egg, Ferdy. Characters from this life. You suddenly remembered <laughs> this life. The old one about lawyers, quite right. And the last one, clock, retreat, system, traffic. The things that you beat. That's it. I didn't know you'd spotted that one. Beat the clock, beat the retreat, beat the system, beat the traffic. Well, you've beaten our system. You've got four points for finding the groups, four points for the connections, a bonus of two for getting it all right. That's the maximum of ten points. Time to bring in the GPs now, see how they fare with the connecting wall. Sixteen new clues jumbled up in a similarly fiendish way. OK, GPs, it's the water wall for you. That's what remains. You've got two and a half minutes to solve it, starting now. Oh, um, computer games, asteroids, yes. scramble. Frogger. Frogger. Farthingale is to do with a horse. This is horses. Oh, right, okay. Tack. Yes. So, okay. Farthingale and a uh, pannier and a uh, bass. What was that? It's a shrug. lit. Is it a word? Turug? It's got a rug in it, lit in it. Pun that's kind of a little con con carrying device, isn't it? Yes. Oh, maybe. And okay. pannier as well, then. Okay. So yeah, creel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And creel? Yeah. Scuttle? Yeah. Could be it's coal stuff, isn't it? Yeah, because No. Could be. Or well, skirt stuff is bustle, isn't it? Bustle, chemise, and basque are women and to Is that a female girl as well? Bassinet? Yeah. No. Let's do the um, truck. Truck is the thing you. Yeah. Pannier. Pannier. What's passing it? Is it these? You cycle through these. It's creel. It's creel. Okay. 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 Scrap okay. cycle through these three. Okay. 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 I'll leave out some scuttle. Fleet dash. No. Yeah. Scuttle. Pannet. Bustle are um, sort of motions like you scuttle flip. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do those. You're about halfway through the time. Okay. Remember, three strikes and you're out now. Okay. okay. Chemise, what's it? Dresses, isn't it? Pass, oh, so underwear. Underwear. Isn't it? If we think about it, so this will be clothing, won't it? Yes. Things to carry that's stuff that's in. So Punnet, creel, trug, and pannier. I'm sure I've tried have we tried? Have we definitely tried? Have we tried those already? Out, yes. Okay. Um, Do you try it one more time or not? I'm thinking of if it's clothing, what would it be bassinet? What's that? Chemise. I think that's clothing. I think I'm not sure. We'll try then. Okay, try then. Um, Try to say that. I think it's a pannier type of skirt on this one. Quick, quick. I think we've done this one. Oh, okay. that's it. You've solved the wall. Four points immediately for the groups. What about the connections? First group Centipede, Asteroids, Frogger, Scramble. They're kind of arcade computer games. That's it. Arcade games from the 70s and 80s. Scuttle, Flit, Bustle, Dash. They're all um, ways of moving quickly. That's right. Ways of moving quickly. And what about this next one? Pannier, Farthingale, Basque, Chemise. This is underwear, female clothing. Underwear. Female clothing. underwear. That's it. They are historic female undergarments. I don't mind telling you I'm wearing them all at the moment. <laughs> it's the Welsh climate. You just can't be too careful. And the last group, Bassinet, Punnet, Trug, Creel. Sort of carrying devices. 
another way of putting that would be... Well, containers. Containers, baskets. 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 I mean, they are carrying devices, but baskets is really what they have in common. So four points for finding the groups, four points for the connections. You get the bonus two, of course, for getting it all right. That is a maximum of ten points. Let's have a look at the scores going into the final round. The GPs have got 15 points. The Fellwalkers have 17 points. And if you think our walls are too easy, why don't you write your own? You can do that on our website, where you'll also find plenty of walls to play. We're going to play round four, though, missing vowels. The vowels have been taken out of names, phrases and sayings, consonants squidged up. What are the disguised clues? Fingers on buzzers, teams. In the first group, they are all ways of saying life's work. This one's canon, a literary canon. Next clue. GPs? Portfolio. Correct. Fell walkers? Oeuvre. Correct. Walkers? Filmography. Correct. Next category, water sports. GPs? Water polo. Correct. Walkers? Canoeing. Correct. GPs? Powerboat racing. Correct. GPs? Kite boarding. Correct. Next category, villains in animation. Walkers? Cruella de Vil. Correct. Walkers? Gargamel. From the Smurfs. Correct. GPs? Lord Farquaad. From Shrek. Correct. Walkers? Dick Dastardly. That is correct. Next category, weather phenomena. Walkers? Tornado. Correct. GPs? Squall. Correct. Walkers? Sheet lightning. Correct. Walkers? Dust devil. Correct. Next category, prepositions. Walkers? Near. Correct. GPs? Alongside. Correct. Walkers? Out with. Yes, it is. Well, now, that bell means it's the end of the quiz and looking at the final scores. GPs, you've got a very good 22 points, but the winners with 28 points are the Fell Walkers. Well done, Fell Walkers, you are through. And under our new rules, GPs, you are also through. <laughs> through to where? Nobody knows. All I know is I will look forward to seeing you again. Join me next time when two fresh-faced and eager teams will come along, spend half an hour with me, then crawl away haggard, broken and exhausted. I miss going on dates. Goodbye. <laughs>